done. Whew. These are so many different titles anymore. Anymore? Okay. Oh man, I feel like I gotta save after that. Still more drop frames in this area though. There are four chests around here somewhere. Should I talk to the people in town or just? Yeah, you should talk to the people in town. Okay. With the travelers, right? Thanks. How are other towns doing? Is Not very good. As bad as they say? It's the pretty fucked up. Cities all the world over, and the demon blood is spreading like wildfire. It's nuts. That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah. This town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle boar meat. The prickle boar meat? Yep. It's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality, tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. What do you think? That would certainly explain things. Okay. Breadcrumbs. Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in East Gand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in North Gand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. <laughs> Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. <laughs> of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> all right, and I mean, you go all the way down and talk to that other guy. What's up here? Probably a chest, I would assume. How oh, many fucking damn. cats? I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. Nico! I out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop. That's her fucking friend, dude. I think it would be easier than Nico. always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin. What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be. It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited. My husband sent medicine to the like I'm actually excited. And got some juicy prickle bore meat in return. That can't be right. I, with my own hand, I... Velvet? Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map. But it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorias having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse point? I it definitely say. did. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. For once, Bianfu, I agree. The truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together, forever, probably. Oh. Oh. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Garlic. All right. Yeah. Fuck all this, dude. Let's get out of here. We'll see you before the end of the stream. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Oh fuck. I was just about to turn around too. Well, you gotta grab that point. And yeah. And, the food and you gotta go this way anyways. Yeah, I, just, I was looking at the map and I was like, oh, okay. Idiot. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're at least I know how to read a fucking... You're an idiot-er. At least I know how to read a map. You, oh, no, no, it's not that I don't read a map. It's that I don't look at the map. Yeah. There's the difference. No, you don't read it because you don't look at it. 
But I still know how to read it, okay? No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I know how to read it. No, you don't. I know where all the things are. No, you don't. Except for that weird yellow stop sign. What's the fucking purple thing? <laughs> oh! That's the thing where we did, where we do the games. No. Fuck. <laughs> what is it? It's you the don't demon fucking lady. know either. Uh, no, I thought it was a red thing. No, that's the the wolf thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> fucking no! <laughs> it's not gonna tell you. <sighs> it's it's actually unknown, dude. Should we figure it out real quick? God. Is that a yes? It's this place. It's the hanging groups. Where it's the red people, like I said. See? Red armband lady. With the wolf sign. Suck my fucking Dude, dick. okay, good guess. It wasn't a guess. Yo, yo, you're over here like... Untarnished silver cores. Cool, and tranquil woods. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. My balls rest on your face. Because they're sleepy. <laughs> Dude, that's game guy right there. What the hell is that weird thing? Thought you knew everything, man. Right there. What's that? With this little plant? Yeah. It's a plant. Oh, don't talk to him. Don't give a shit about his plant. I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. She was. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hard-working girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. It's not that she's but forgotten. What has she lost? Everything. Well, these are different. Right, I don't know. Things are different. Some things say the same. Link easy mushrooms again, dude. I don't remember the mushrooms. My friend. Is the like one other thing that we used to get besides comfrey? And a Molly ring. What are you doing? Fuck is there is. Oh shit, I like that. Oh no. You gotta climb up. To your right. To your right. Oh, I'm just trying to avoid this shit, okay. Everything else is gonna so, have to wait. Oh, do damn it. Do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? 
It had to be to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to a nomina, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book. Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used I like how everything's like coming this Therian huge people. circle. It's kind of cool. Huh. I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment... I'm just offering a theory, but a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? All in favor of the perhaps greater good. just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse point too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Now you're just gonna see a huge fucking hole in the ground and your memories are gonna come rushing back. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> Hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. Mm. So we're not going to fight that thing. We're just going to head. Mm-hmm. so familiar. Well, what the fuck was that? It seems like a jump point. Oh, no. Can you not use your thing there? Wait, what the fuck? You press left and it goes to your shit? What are Why? you doing? You, you don't have the... The scooter anymore? No, not in this area. Thought they could hide that from me. I saw it. Oh, I think we can just go. We can just go around. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hope we're not going to be on our level for this next area. And we just level probably fine. He says just before he has to do the same battle over and over again because we're under leveled. We didn't have to do that because we were under leveled. We, we just weren't it. taking out the ads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's not that many demons here. They say knowing that is full of bullshit. So much comfrey, dude. Reminds me of home. That voice. Oh, shit. Oh, 
<laughs> Let's go. Heracross, Heracross. It's charging. That was lucky. Yeah. Just about to dodge you. It's weak against fire. Yeah, I'm using fire. Oh, fucking bitch. She only had one. That was close. Can you use your thingy? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, there it is. You already have five. Oh, I should. I already have five. Wow. Now you have five again. Damn, I thought I had dodged Oh, that. you're almost dead. Uh. They're getting corner fucked. Heal. I don't. I, I really don't understand why, you, like, you don't ever heal. Uh, Lofisa, Lofisa heals me. Yeah, no, but everybody else is gonna die. Okay. You could have just fucking healed. You could have healed like eight times. I, I, I thought he healed me, like, like, right when you were saying something about it. Oh, okay. And then now, what's her face? It's fine. Oh. Damn it. Healer, healer. Oh shit, I realize he's gonna fall back like that. Bloom, Resurrection, and Crown Fire. 
Grants a random skill that creates an advantage against stemmy human, armored, undead fiend, dragon enemies, and normal motor um, Wow. It's a lot. I can't believe it. Is it really you? Uh, <laughs> Think she's gonna be scared of Velvet? Velvet? What is this? How are you alive? I could ask you the same question. Where have you been this whole time? You just up and disappeared. Everyone thinks that you were eaten by a demon. But I knew it couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. <laughs> Sorry, I... I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news! You finally come back to us! Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Yeah. Any people in a ball are gonna recognize Luffy set? She didn't recognize it. That's true. Okay. Well, go to a Velvet, ball. I have to ask. Are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's it's not like I had time to check. Okay. I mean, does the thing tell the okay shit. We both go to the basic same space. Yeah, so either one. I'll go this way. Path of least resistance. Man, I really wish I could just like, you know, use my thing. Oh shit, this requires a jump across the thing. I don't think I can do it. I need to double check though. It's also a chest over there. Yeah. farther one out probably <laughs> should be proud of me man I'm, I'm passing up a lot of items Maybe it might have been. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the other one. Yeah, because the game had a bunch of shit like mm -hmm. lining your way up. Ooh, a cat's chest. You need 500. What the fuck? <laughs> come on, come on. Fucking bitch. This can't be. Oh shit, we're going the right way. What I did. He killed Luffy. Velvet, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I know I'm right. I'm sure of it. This isn't how the village should be. Well, let's stay calm and investigate. I am calm. I'm fine. Really? You were not calm. You are as far from calm as you've been. As this Nico girl. 
But if she's the real thing, then something very unnatural is going on. You get me, Rokuro? Yeah, yeah I got we you. Better keep an eye out. Oh, a point. A point. Oh, the engine. <laughs> okay. Now you can do jumps. I wonder if that's how you get to the city over there. Oh, no, that's right. It's right here. Oh, sick. What? What? I mean, that's probably not the way you go. Okay. No, I, you know, I wasn't sure. Boink. Kind of fun, though. Okay. I didn't even like notice I was there. Yum. Oh, sick. Oh, righteous. Holy shit! How far do we have to? This fall is the last area. See, remember this little area? Where yeah, we, used to, I we talked to those two fuckers right here. Uh, You're like, oh, hey, you don't like women, do you? Yeah, I remember. All right, after this scene. Yeah. Velvet, you're really all right. Everyone, oh, it's just everyone's just there. It's crazy. Good to see you. Where have you been all this time? You never even wrote. But I don't. I. I thought the whole village was wiped out that day. Yeah, it nearly was. But just when we Maybe it was all over, your oh, shit saved everyone. Victorious saved us. No, it was his doing in the first place. He sacrificed Lafisset. Lafisset comes out of the corner. It really was a shame what happened to that poor boy. That's all you have to say? A shame? My brother Lafie died. I'm that sorry. Truly, I am. But you can't lose hope, dear. He's right. What counts is that your brother's still alive. <laughs> He's alive. Oh, shit. I'm giving some step for wife shit going He's on. In your house. Don't worry. We've all pitched in to take care of him. I don't. Velvet. This is some weird ass shit. Now I want to no. fucking go check the house. Go yeah, we, house we gotta check yeah. the house. Okay. Luffy. Luffy's alive? What's wrong? Well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. You think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on, help me look for the Therian. Sure. I think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. Okay. That was weird. Ooh, earth point point. I grabbed that first. Never mind. My home. It hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Eisen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... <sighs> Not going to work on me. <laughs> you fucking healed her. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing to yourself? People can fight against pain, but... You can't fight against happiness. What she said before. I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound. <gasps> You're warm. Fluffy. You're really alive. <laughs> I don't think. 
think he is alive? He's been asleep ever since that day. I found him at the shrine, collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. Oh, she still has to come. You again, Lafay. I swear I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still have to thank you for this comb after all. Oh God, she's cutting into his head with the hat. See, that's where Velvet's comb came from. Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? <laughs> this is a defenseless child. All I can think of is that thing. You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's alright. What? Your name is Laffy said too. <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me, I live here now. I'd make Bye. He really likes Go. For dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking, and it'll wake him up. Yeah. Maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Oh God. Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. She's acting like old fucking. You know what this means, right, Matt? You know what this fucking means? You know what this fucking means, dude? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, everything's back to normal. Twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. <laughs> Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? All right. First, I'm going to whip up my special quiche. And then I'll throw in tomato and egg soup. And some pudding. I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. Oh, God. Oh, God, guys. I don't know what's happening. But I can ride the sick fucking board in old style version. I'm going to go and save. Uh, you, you guys think that, uh, uh, oh shit, there's gonna be a fucking thing over here. You guys think Velvet's a bit different? I mean, she like surfs now? It's a little <laughs> weird. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll have to call it here. Pretty freaking trippy, though. Yeah. I'm glad that they're doing this, though. It's like, it's, it's, like, oh, it's pretty shit. cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, guys, well, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying this particular series, definitely feel free to share it with your friends. If you want to see some more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to see us do this live, uh, we are, are we doing this on Wednesdays now? No. Or are we, we're, we're just going back to Mondays? Mm -hmm. Okay, so on Mondays at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch.tv slash TV. We'll talk at you next time. Peace.